Occasionally, larger wounds offer more challenges. What you'll often have are larger wounds that are gaping. Putting them together would require a fair amount of tension on the wound. This may result in wound edges that don't come together correctly. In order to treat this, surgeons develop the vertical mattress suture, which we're going to demonstrate. The purpose of a vertical mattress suture is to use a large bite, far away from the wound, to bring the wound together, then a small bite to approximate the edges of the skin. We do that in a very standard fashion, using the small 24 millimeter needle loaded in the usual fashion, perpendicular, about two-thirds of the way down, and then pick a dot in the center of the wound. Notice in this case, we will put the suture a little farther away from the dot than you normally would. Now enter perpendicular, come through the wound, re-grasp, pull down until you have five centimeters remaining, reload the needle, grasp on the other side, bring the needle out a little farther than the dot to simulate the gaping wound. Now we're going to do things a little differently. Rather than load our needle in the regular forehand fashion, you're going to load it backwards in the backhand fashion. So the needle will be going in the opposite direction from the usual way of loading the needle. So you can put it in the skin to reapproximate that. Lift up the skin, enter, and come out about halfway down the skin thickness. Enter on the other side about halfway up the skin thickness and come out through the skin. Hold on to the skin with your ads and forceps while you pull the needle on through. The instrument tie in this case is exactly the same. Start away from yourself, wrap around twice, continue towards yourself. Start towards, continue away. Start away, continue towards. back and forth. And then, when you're done, bring in the scissors to cut the tags. Notice what you have. You have a suture with ends on both sides. The tension has been taken off of this wound with the big sutures that were placed and actually averted the edges for better healing right here in the center with our smaller bite. Now, practice this 10 times before moving on to the next exercise. 